Welcome everyone to today's quick tip. Today I'm going to talk about automatic geocoding. Automatic geocoding is Spotfire's way to look at your data and without you even telling it any latitude or longitude or any type of geometries, it automatically figures out where on a map to place your data. So let's take a look at this example. So in this example, I'm using World Bank data. Now this is public data on different countries and it has different information about the population such as the internet users per 100 people, uh, labor force participation, um, immunization, all kinds of different attributes here. Now there's no information on latitude or longitude here. There's no um, geometry data, there's no shapefile here, but Spotfire is automatically able to determine the countries and where they belong on a map and even create these geometries for me. So all I have to do in Spotfire is just simply create a map chart visualization and it's gonna figure out where to plot these points. Now these are automatically here, it's sized by adolescent fertility rate. I can change this to other uh, different attributes in my data and it's put this by default as points and, and this is where the center of each of these countries are. Um, what I can do here is I can go to my visualization properties and in my layers uh, this has automatically been added as a marker layer but I can add a feature layer and I'll use the World Bank data and this now has created uh, the geometries as well. So let's turn off the markers now, Spotfire automatically added these geometries. I can change the color mode if I'd like, but how is this working? How does Spotfire know how to do this? So Spotfire has a stored set of geocoding tables, and you're gonna see this in your library. If you go to File and View Library, you'll see this folder called GeoAnalytics. Now, this should be in the top of your library, and if it's not there, then talk to your administrator. They may have removed it or moved it to a different location. It needs to be at the top of the library level. And what Spotfire is going to do is look into these geocoding tables, and there's different values here for continents, countries, world. So, you know, in world, I have world cities and world countries, and these SBDF files have the geometry data in it. So in Spotfire, if I want to take a look at this, I can actually add this data um, separately. So I can go to Browse the Library and Add Data. I'll go to GeoAnalytics. And um, here, let's just go, for instance, let's just try uh, the United States. I'll go to Countries, and I'll go to USA, and I'll say uh, USA States. And this will bring in a separate table, and this table has all this information in it. Let's take a look at this table. I'm gonna just create a table visualization, and let's look at USA States. It has all the geometry information, and it has all these other attributes like state and these different state codes, um, the X-Min, X-Max, et cetera. So all of these tables have been stored in the library. Spotfire knows how to grab them. You can also add them separately just into your visualization if you want. So I can add, for instance, a new feature layer. Um, I'll go to Layers. I'll add a feature layer. And I can add USA States that I just brought in or I can just find these uh, predefined tables. Uh, so for instance, I'll go to UK and I'll go to UK counties. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add the different counties in uh, the United Kingdom. So let's turn off everything else. That's just the different counties. Now that's not attached to any data, so it's all just shown gray right there. Um, but you can bring this in individually if you'd like. Now, in order to do this geocoding, you have to have the names in your data, something that Spotify will recognize. So if you have, for instance, the different country names or country codes and you're not using country or country code, uh, it's not gonna work. So as an example, I'm gonna go to my source data and I have this country code value here. I'm just gonna name this my code and I'm gonna save this. And now in Spotfire, Let's just start from scratch. And I'm gonna add the same World Bank data. And it's gonna say my code. And I'll hit OK. And now when I create a map chart, it's gonna get a little confused. It doesn't know what to do here. So what I can do is if I have my, my names uh, different than what Spotify recognizes, I can go into the settings and on positioning, I can go to the geocoding and it's gonna ask me what I wanna uh, geocode by. I can say my code and I need to add a geocoding hierarchy. So I'll select the world countries 
and I need to set a column match here. I need to tell it what columns to look at. So in the settings, I go to column matches and I can hit new. And on the World Bank data, I'm gonna select my code. And then on the right data, the uh, World Country data table, I'm gonna select uh, the country code here. So that's country ISO 3. And let's preview this and it's matched uh, left column, right column. It has all of these country codes here. So I'm gonna hit OK and OK. And now Spotfire will know that those country codes all match. And it will plot these points automatically. So automatic geocoding is really powerful. It makes it really quick for you to create good dashboards. I hope this helps in your analysis and I hope you join us next time. Thanks.